Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. This weekend I went to the biggest card show in the region at the Washington Crown Center Mall, sponsored by the Cardboard Connection. This is in Washington, Pennsylvania, and it's very convenient for all of those of you that are in Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, or Maryland, and some people even driving in from other states as well for this. 300 tables, I'm gonna take you around and show you what I saw there. Altogether, I spent $1,200, it was actually $1,196. The first stop was this booth right here, 1980s Rookies, and I'll show you everything that I picked up. You saw some Ken Griffey Juniors there. My next booth that I stopped off at was this one. It has some nice mystery bags there. I'm gonna pick up a couple of those and try them out. But then I'm always looking for vintage cards and that Ricky Henderson caught my eye. And another rookie card in there caught my eye as well. So I would pick up two rookie cards from this seller and embarrassingly enough, drop one of them on the floor before making an offer. But then I also saw a nice Ichiro rookie card, so I grabbed that one as well. So we're gonna show you 300 tables, over 300 tables right now. It goes the entire way down, the entire length of the mall. You can't even see the end of the mall. It kind of like goes around to the side there and it'll swing it around the other way and it goes the whole way down to the other side. And in just a bit, I'll take you for a walk through. I'll go through all 300 tables. I'll put it on a time lapse. They couldn't even fit the mall in the mall. They had to rent out extra space along the sides some big stores and put more card tables in there. And guess what? This is coming back again. So in February, this show is going to get, except it's going to be even bigger. Next up, I stopped off at my buddy Dante's table. We'll be auctioning off a whole bunch of Dante's collection. There are some of his cards. He gave me a lot of these slabs to auction off, but I did spend some money here and pick up some of these slabs as well. Some of them you probably, if you watch my channel, you know what I like. You can probably spot a couple of the cards that I bought already. By the way, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you along for all of our videos. And then I stopped off next to Dante's table. There's a junk wax bin for three for a buck. So I grabbed a couple of those and I was tempted on a couple of these old boxes because they were pretty cheap, relatively speaking. But I ultimately decided to pass. There was also another room. I call it the orange room with more tables crammed in there. And I buy some stuff in there also. And I also saw Bowman Platinum it just came out the previous day of the card show. I hadn't got my hands on any yet because they didn't stock them at Walmart. So I went to Black and Gold Breaks and picked up four of these. And you've already seen the preview video on this one. I uploaded that one the day of the card show. And then we have the $2 bin here. This, there was some really great stuff. These Juan Soto rookie cards, $2. That Andrew McCutcheon gold rookie card, $2. I couldn't believe it. So I spent some time there and went through and picked out a whole bunch of great stuff for really cheap. And then there was also some heavy stuff. So I ended up going and picking up a couple wax boxes of stuff that I haven't opened for Throwback Thursday yet as well on the cheap. And maybe we'll do some of those in upcoming weeks. Just stuff from my childhood, just for nostalgia purposes. And then I think my last big purchase was at Gem Mint. He had a nice tent set up today. And uh, I think I spent about $130, $140 at his table. We'll give you a kind of a walk around. There he is on the right. And he had a whole bunch of great cards. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie cards. He had a whole bunch of Aaron Judge rookie cards. He had Shohei Otani rookie cards. And they're always very decently priced. And if you get a couple cards, he'll cut you a deal. We'll show you his business card when I go through the stuff that I picked up. So that maybe you can, you know, if you see something you like at his table, you can shout him out and be like, hey, I saw that you have that, uh, maybe that Aaron Judge orange there. I'm interested in buying it. Maybe you can work out a deal that way. So just a whole bunch of stuff there. And uh, also, by the way, I would end up winning a door prize while I was not even at the show. So after checking out, uh, actually before going to his table, I checked out and I look at that Manny Machado gold rookie card. I had to go get lunch because it was like one o'clock and I was starving and the food court, there's really nothing at the food court that's kind of all, you know, closed up. So I went and uh, went and got lunch, came back and they told me, hey, they just called your name for a door prize. So we'll show you what I won and before we do that, we'll go ahead and walk around and give you the entire tour of this 300 plus table show. There you see black and gold breaks over on the side. And then down here, you're going to see the orange room. I picked up a couple things from Jeff in there. I actually did a, um, a video short of one of his mystery bags. I saw some folks standing around Bryce back there super quick. He was calling out names, door prizes. The grand prize was a $500 giveaway. And he gave away so much stuff. There was maybe like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 door prizes. So make sure you do that because I think a lot of people didn't even know about it. So your chances of winning a door prize actually were probably pretty good. 
if you put your name in. So the whole way down to Sears and back around. Now we're gonna show you everything I picked up, all $1,200 worth of cards. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoy this one. Now let's see everything that I picked up at the Washington Crown Center Card Show. All right, everybody, I'm back from the Washington Crown Center in the card show. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you that I picked up. Man, there's a lot of stuff. It won't even all fit in the screen. So let's go ahead and start going through it all. You see a lot of different bags from different sellers. All right, here we go with our first lot of stuff. I believe I grabbed all of these from the very first table that I walked in. And I think the price was... I think it was like 70 bucks. Let's check this out. So get a bunch of 80s rookie cards there. And as you know, I love rookie cards. And I love Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. So I bought them all. There's a whole bunch of 1989 Fleer and 89 Donruss Ken Griffey Jr. rookie cards. So I grabbed as many as I possibly could. Went through them all because usually, I mean, at the National this year, I was seeing those for... Oh, what were they like? $10 a piece minimum. There's a Ricky Henderson in there along with an Ozzy Smith as well. Both second year cards, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So I grabbed those. At another table I stopped by, it was in one of those little alcoves there. I found a Derek Jeter rookie card from 93 Upper Deck along with a Matt Olson. And that's a Matt Olson first Bowman Chrome. So with his, what, 55 home runs this year. I figured that one was a must buy. Moving on next, picked up these guys. Three cards. There's another seller that had a little deal, $10 a card, or I think it was three for 25 bucks. So a Juan Soto Chrome rookie card. And then, you know, that was kind of like my third card. So I, I basically got this one for five. These are the two that I was really after. Justin Verlander rookie cards. From Fleer, that's his 2006 Fleer card, just $10 a pop on those, so I grabbed those as well. Next up, we've got some vintage cards from another seller. I got a deal on these. These two were 40 bucks. Basically, he thought hard, thought hard about it. I was like, take 40 for these two, and he paused. A pregnant pause for a good 10 seconds. He was like, all right, I'll do that. I guess it maybe helped that I accidentally dropped one of the cards on the floor. I think the Aussie Smith fell out of my hands. Didn't do it on purpose, but uh, he was like, well, that's why that's in a top loader. But we got these two for 40 bucks altogether. Check the backs. They were clean. They both appear to be crease-free and a little bit of corner wear on them, but two Hall of Fame rookie cards. You can't beat that. And then I went back to the seller that I bought all the Griffies off of because I saw these, and I was like, wait a minute. You know, I don't want to make the mistake where I go around and then I come back, then all the good stuff is gone. So we have these three for 90 bucks. I think they may have been, I think it was 80 bucks. You knocked a little bit off. Can't really beat that for a Derek Jeter gold rookie card. There was people selling the Jeter regular card for 20, 25 bucks. And the gold is a much tougher pull right there so I grabbed that one and then a Yadier Molina rookie card as well he's a future Hall of Famer along with another future Hall of Famer Ichiro Suzuki he had a stack of three Ichiros and they were all nice condition I checked them all out tried to look for the one that was centered the best no paper loss on any of them so so far so good off to a good start getting lots of great rookie cards moving on to the next spot we've got a 1970 Tops, Hank Aaron and Willie McCovey right there, along with Fred McGriff. We've got Ken Griffey Jr.'s 89 score, along with his 89 Tops traded, and a Hank Aaron in there as well. These were, I think they were, I want to say they were $5 a piece, so just, what, 30 bucks. This one was 10 and then these two are $5 a piece. It's 30 bucks right there. The Hank Aaron 1970 Tops is a nice one. And these, although they said 10 bucks on the back, $5 a piece, so some more Griffies to add the, to the collection. I was always, you know, always on the lookout for cards for the PC. This is one that I saw, a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. It's the rookie debut. It had a $25 price tag on it. I offered $20, bucks and he accepted. So $20 on this one right here, and we're still going. Next up, all of these were from a seller that I've bought from before. I think his name is Jeff, and I found out today that he plays for the Washington Nationals. No, check that. I wish. <laughs> I'm sure he wishes. The Washington Wild Things. 
So all of these, man, there's some great cards in here. We've got a Justin Verlander card here for 10 bucks. It says Rookie Prospect card from Upper Deck. I'm not even sure the year on this one. I tried to look, but I couldn't see because my eyesight, I don't know if I'm, my eyesight's just going to matter. It's just too small. And it looks like maybe it's an 05 Upper Deck thanks to the zoom function right there. Awesome card right there. There's a Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card, and there was no price tag on it, though. And I asked him the price. He said 20 bucks. I was like, yeah. All right, I'll take it. 20 bucks. Juan Soto rookie card. So these two, these were in the $2 box. A great deal right there. We've got a Matt Olson rookie card. So I picked up all the Matt Olson rookie cards that I could. So there's three there. We've got CC Sabathia's Chrome rookie card along with Matt Mulder. And again, these are all in the $2 box. There is a Lou Whitaker rookie card. We have a Tim Raines, two Tim Raines. We have Pete Alonso rookie cards in the $2 box. They're Topps Now versions. I've not seen those before. A Jim Palmer 69 Topps card. Austin Riley Chrome rookie card. Corey Seager rookie card. Reggie Jackson 73 Topps in good shape. It's off center. But hey, it's for two bucks. You can't beat it. Jordan Hicks rookie card. That's a short print. And a Ken Griffey Jr. 89 Don Ross highlights card in there as well all of that was 80 bucks and i also grabbed a uh a mystery bag from him as well so that mystery bag i think i'm going to do that in a short because it's always fun to do all right next up we grabbed uh we grabbed some packs just for the heck of it this was a buck so i figured three packs for a dollar why not give us something to open there's still a whole bunch more stuff to do here also i'm going to show you what my door prize was Got Bird, BJ Surhoff right there. These are 88 Tops big cards. Jose Canseco. I almost bought a box of these. However, I never bought these as a kid. I did buy the 89 Tops big. So if there were 89 Tops bigs, I would have grabbed them for sure. And then I also saw these, and I don't think I've ever opened these before. Heads up, like big head cards. Here's the checklist on these. There's some nice names. I just bought it to hopefully get a Ken Griffey Jr., We'll see what we get in here. So we got two chances at Griffey. I just hope we don't get Greg Olson. Look at the checklist. He's probably the worst. Actually, Craig Worthington's the worst. Then uh, probably Greg Olson, the second worst, and Jerome Walton, the third worst. Who do we got? We got Tom Gordon. He's probably he's probably the fourth worst. What is this? Like what? What are you supposed to do with this? Pin it up? Is that like a little suction cup or something that you just? Pin this up in your locker. I guess that's the idea they've got. I've never seen these before. A big head, Tom Gordon. I not. I don't even think I can call that a card. Interesting. Yeah, there's a suction cup. So here's the other one. Please be Griffey. It's Tony Gwynn. Nice one right there. That'll. I'm probably actually going to put that on my refrigerator right now, just for the heck of it. I don't know if Tom Gordon deserves a spot on the refrigerator, but Tony Gwynn does and the suction cup works perfectly after like i don't even know how many years 30 plus years on that cool stuff right there the, uh, i guess i don't know even what those are officially called but i like it all right so maybe and the tony gwynn just fell down i don't know if you heard that thud in the background tony gwynn that stayed up for all of uh i don't know a couple minutes here's our next seller line let's see what it is all right, we've got Gem Mint right here. All of this, all together was, I believe, it was 130 for everything. Yeah, 130 bucks on all these. So Gem Mint, if you like their booth that I showed in the video, you can go ahead and you know go to their eBay page right there. Go to their Instagram, give them a follow. Or, you know, you could always just send them an email and be like, hey, I saw a card that you had in Jeb's family video. Would you sell it to me and ship it to me? You might be able to get some cards that way. Um, they always hook me up. So thank you very much, guys. And here's the cards that I picked up. They had a Shohei Otani National Baseball Card Day rookie card, which is a card that I don't ever really see. And uh, this one was uh, 20 bucks. A Derek Jeter. That's the 07 error card right there. It's got George Bush and Mickey Mantle in the background. Now, that one was 10 bucks. A fantastic price. And then last but not least... I always like my gold rookie cards. I typically try to get the gold star rookies in a 10, but I've not seen the Machado anywhere yet. So this is a place holder, place holder in my rookie uh, box, along with the other gold PSA 10s that I have. I've got uh, 
nice collection of them right now. So this PSA 9, I think the comps on this one were 130 to 140 in a PSA 9, and he sold this one to me for 100 bucks. So a great deal right there, Manny Machado, rookie gold. I had to grab that one. I think that was one of my favorite pickups of the day. All right, moving along. What do we have next? Big bag here of something. Let's find out what it is. I guess we should probably get some real estate here before we open the big bag of something. I also picked up a whole bunch of 2023 Bowman Platinum. You've probably already seen this video opened up by now. I've already opened these up, but uh, I'm filming this as soon as I got back. They were $115 a piece, which is about what they're going for online and uh, I haven't seen these anywhere yet. I think you could buy them for $100 on Topps website. So I grabbed four for a preview video because why not? So all of these, and they actually gave me a deal on them. It was $440 cash on these four. He knocked $5 off per box. So I appreciate that. And um, let's see what else. So there's $110 a box was the price on those guys. I'll put those off the side. I'll probably open those up soon and do a video on those. Next up, we have more to show. Let's see. We've got some mystery bags here. Let's, let's go ahead and check these mystery bags out. So these mystery bags were $30 a piece. And then we have two 10s. Actually, there's another 10 one as well. So 70 bucks all together. And he threw another one in because he let me open one uh, just to see what was inside. So the preview pack was this one. And he also taught you this was also a freebie. And then the other one that uh, I have not sitting over here off to the side. I'll be opening this one in a short, I think, because shorts are fun to make. I think I can get this done in 60 seconds or less. But there's a lot of modern cards and some older cards in there as well. There's nothing too crazy for $10 a piece. But uh, the good stuff will be at the bottom. So this is where you're going to get your value. It's going to be in the Relic and the Autograph. Here we have a Robinson Cano and a Will Bednar which, uh, you know, that's David Bednar's younger brother, David Bednar, the closer for the uh, Pirates. I mistakenly thought that was David Bednar when I was looking at it. But Will Bednar, um, younger brother of David Bednar right there in that first one. So it goes to show you get an autograph and a relic. So let's see what we have in this second one here. This is a $10 pack. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get something decent. And, uh, man, this bag is not opening in a very efficient way whatsoever. But that's okay. What do we got? So we've got some inserts to start us off. Dansby Swanson, future star card right there. 80 tops, Buddy Bell. There's a Wade Boggs, 89 tops, record breaker card. Austin Riley, refractor. Got some more refractors. Everett Williams is going to be a numbered card. And we get a hand ram, Hanley Ramirez, from Triple Threads. It's a low number to 10. And the autograph is going to be Michael King from playbook in that one so that was a ten dollar pack nothing too crazy but let's check out these thirty dollar packs it's all baseball too so you don't have to worry about seeing a whole bunch of crap in here from wrestling or soccer or other sports since we mostly just do baseball around here and that's what we're sticking with all right so we got joe musgrove ryan braun out of 299 garrett cole game used jersey we have an, an autograph here. It's going to be a Cole St. Clair. I don't think I've heard of him before. Josh James, rookie auto, and a Bandel. I've never heard of him either. A Bandel Isabel, I guess, are the autographs in there. Here's the second pack. Let's see what we can find in this one. He also had a hundred dollar boxes right there. Um, I think he let me look through one of them. I was a little gun shy. I think if, uh, you know, I was going to buy, I was thinking about buying a few of them and selling them to Patreon members, but I was just, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit scared of buying a big box of stuff. And although uh, in the preview, it, it looked like all the stuff, if I would have added it up and pieced it out, it would have came to just over a hundred bucks. Here's the second one, Michael Young gold card, Hassan Kim out of 75. Wilson Contreras, that's low numbered to 75. We have uh, Nelson Beltron out of 50. We've got Devin Travis out of 99. And the last auto there is Sean Newcomb is the third autograph in those packs. So there's the mystery packs done for the day. Uh, I also picked up some wax, some junk wax. 
let's see here, 15 bucks on the Pinnacle. These were boxes I have not yet opened. 20 bucks on the Stadium Club and 15 bucks on the 93 Fleer. So we got $50 of junk wax. It's nice to see that junk wax is going back down to, you know, where it used to be. Uh, for a while there, people would be trying to sell these boxes for like 40 bucks when really the value is just not there. And the other junk wax box that I picked up, this was $60. It's a jumbo box, the jumbo packs of 1990 tops. I texted my brother and asked if he saw it. He said uh, that he'd already been through, so I figured since he didn't pick it up, I would go ahead and grab it and then maybe do this one for a throwback Thursday at some point, looking for Frank Thomas, no name on front. But $60 for big old jumbo box. I don't think I've ever done one of those boxes in its own standalone video. And then here we go with this last bag. And then I'll show you my door prize. All right, here we go. This is the last one here. And this is from Dante. Dante, really cool guy, by the way. I've actually known him since he was in eighth grade. I think it's, uh, I think he, I first met him at a Pirates game. And I think he had followed my, maybe my old, like, uh, I used to have like a blog back then about the Pirates and going to baseball games and stuff. And uh, that was like nine years ago. So now he's a big baseball card to sell out on the local circuit. And he's got a lot of great deals. So here's what I picked up. We got Juan Marichal. That's his, you know, on-card auto of a Hall of Famer. That's a great deal right there. Fernando Tatis Jr. I figured I might as well for 10 bucks. Grab a Tatis and a 9, a 10 of Tatis. PSA 10s go for like 20 bucks now, believe it or not. He had a Vlad Jr. right there as well. Vlad Jr., that's a PSA 9 of his rookie card. And, you know, I would have bought it probably if it was just his base rookie card, but I saw something that caught my eye. I was like, you know what? I don't have that one. It's a parallel, the 150th anniversary parallel for 20 bucks. Good deal right there. Got a Luis Robert in there as well for 10 bucks. That is his Chrome. It's a CSG 10 for just $10. Also a Mike Trout there as well. $10 patch from Holiday. By the way, Tops Holiday, I put a pre-order in for, I think, 12 boxes. They went on sale the other day. And last but not least, we have a Bobby Witt Jr. First Bowman. And that one is a SGC 9.5 for 30 bucks. So nice stuff right there. Altogether, we had 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. And I want to say that uh, I think he gave it to me for 85 because I remember getting $15 change. So 85 bucks for all of those. And uh, I think that's everything that I picked up. So you will see two shorts coming up of... Um, some mystery packs that I grabbed. We'll try those out. It's a $3 mystery pack and also a $10 mystery pack. And then uh, I've got to go ahead and show you the door prize. So, yeah. So, what happened? I'll tell you the door prize story. But before I get into that, I want to go ahead and shout it out one more time. The Sports Card Showcase presented by Cardboard Connection, which is a great website. I use it all the time when I'm researching new products and looking for new releases and when they're coming out. You should check out Cardboard Connection. But anyway, uh, this show is put on by Bryce from State Classy Cards. And there's another one coming up. It's going to be a big one. I was talking to Bryce for a little bit there. It is, you can mark your calendar right now, Saturday, February 3rd, and Sunday, February 4th. It is a two-day event. All the other ones that we've had so far at the Crown Center, which I think this is, what, the third now? They've all been one day, so a two-day event. And if you want to go and check it out, it's at the Washington Crown Center, which is in Washington, PA. So if you're in like uh, eastern Ohio or like northern West Virginia or western Maryland or anywhere in southwestern PA, central PA, it's all within driving distance for you. Heck, maybe go and get a hotel, stay the night, and hit up both days. Now, it's the largest show, one of the largest shows in the country. He actually told me that he is shooting for 400 tables. The one today was 300. He's going to go for 400 tables by getting more spaces in those little offshoot stores, like these empty storefronts. He's going to go ahead and put more tables in there. So look for a 400 table card show in February. Mark your calendars right now. You can also maybe bookmark the page, pittsburghcardshow.com. You can head over there, bookmark that page, and check for updates because uh, 
you know, they do a great job there. And I was talking to some of the dealers and they were very happy with uh, Bryce and how everything went off. And here's just more information on the back about the next upcoming show in February. So there you have it, folks. Now let's talk about the door prize. So as I was walking away after talking to Bryce, Bryce's wife was like, hey, did you want to put your name in the uh, the door prize thing? I was like, uh, yeah, why, why not? I'll go ahead and do it. So I filled out a little slip of paper, put my name on it, my address, my phone number, my email, and then I you know, handed it to her and watched her throw it into the big bin of all the other ones. And then I went off on my way. And at this time, it was lunchtime, and there was really nowhere to eat in the mall. I think they had some food trucks outside in the drizzle, but I was like, all right, I'm just going to go to Wendy's. So I went to Wendy's, and the you know, big big backup in the drive through probably a lot of other people heading over there, too, from the show. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to eat here because I don't feel like sitting in my car for 30 minutes to get a spicy chicken sandwich. So I went to Burger King instead, got a Whopper, ate it in my car, came back. And then I went to Gem Mint. That was the first place I hit up after lunch. And he's like, hey, did you know you won a door prize? They called your name at uh, like 1 o'clock, whatever time, 2 o'clock. I can't remember what time it was. But I was like, really? That's pretty awesome. So I went back to the table. And uh, I'll show you a clip now of what I won. And then I'll show you the actual item here in person. Oh, sorry. Okay, wait. Okay, we'll just do that. Can you see the autograph on it? I need to turn it back. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so here it is in the flesh. Or as close as I can get to in person to show you what I won as the door prize there. And they had a whole bunch of great stuff. The grand prize was a $500 shopping spree that you could use at the card show. $500 cash. And uh, it is a Wade Boggs authenticated uh, baseball right there. We have a certificate here that was um, document certifies that this item of sports memorabilia was personal autographed by Wade Boggs from uh, Greg Wexter's sports autographs. So there's Wade Boggs, and here's the front of the ball. It's one of those old American League balls, which were used in the 1990s. The Bobby Brown president... Um, ball so cool ball right there wade boggs so a great door prize right there nice little bonus from that card show and there you have it folks an awesome card show i hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight it's tuesday that means team break tuesday check us out we'll be live with lots of team breaks of the brand new tops update We'll have some Bowman Chrome, a whole bunch of other stuff in there as well. So I hope you can join us live tonight. If you'd like to grab some spots, head on over to Patreon. We're selling spots for the break right now. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see all of you later in the live stream. Good night, everybody.